Sorry about that gorgeous little Charlotte. Okay, part three. So we were in the reticular activating system as part of the periventricular survival system uh, balancing. So because of the histamines, the allergies, the whole immune system not knowing what to do, the body's gone into survival. And when we're in survival, the immune system isn't the core priority. The core priority is surviving the tiger, the bear, the, the uh, goring that's about to happen. So it sort of can shut down the gut, it can shut down the immune system, it can make our nervous system hyperactive. So it was reticular activating system. Once again, uh, too high, too low, yeah, low serotonin. Making the little nervous system just be on the lookout for anything to feel wrong in the little body. Okay, the little anterior cingulate gyrus, play, gyrus is playing up, so this is the one where the unconscious brain is picking on itself, not being perfect under stress. And little human beings on the planet, we expect so much of them that goes against the grain. It's putting the nervous system into wanting to escape submission freeze you know that whole uh, it's just too hard energy for the little nervous system Another RAS circuit, so this is our third circuit in a short space of time. So just a reminder, the reticular activating system is the part of the brain that is looking at what's happening in our world and if something new is happening, it decides what hormones we release. So when our body's under stress, it goes into more stress and trauma and vigilance, whereas when our brain is happy, the reticular activating system, yeah, go dopamine, go serotonin, you know, go the good guys. But what it just tells me is that uh, Charlotte's little body is at the point where her nervous system is going, life isn't easy, it's no fun being human. Okay, so this one's noradrenaline either side of the little belly button and sometimes just wanting so it's uh, large intestine 20s either side of the nose and this little combination is just about life just being tough wanting to hide away occasionally in the tent under your bed you know just sort of hide away escape create your own little reality What's next? Okay, so we're going to do a tuning fork combination. So what's the first? So I'm going to check the coordinates of the organs in the body. Lung, lung. Yeah, so lung triple heater. So lungs are a bit about grief, guilt, regret. It's obviously about lungs. It can be allergies, asthma, any of that sort of thing. 
with, uh, with snoring, it can be that inability to get oxygen into your lungs and your brain while you're asleep. It can be breathing in all the toxins from the sky, the toxins in our environment, and just having a hard time with all of that. So let me get the tuning forks. So the Attitude with Essence book. Okay, so it's lung energy and triple heater energy. The combination of those is about feeling trapped and claustrophobic in your own body. The flower essence is slender rice flower. That's sort of for when we are um, comparing ourselves to other people and jealous that other people have it so easy. So when you've got a little body that's always struggling, wouldn't it be easier to, to have someone else's body? Okay. Now obviously we need to think of this not only from a four-year-old's perspective, but also what's come down genetically for us, what's come down intuitively, what's come down karmically, uh, and what's come down through the um, genetic editing from both mum and dad through all of that gene uh, merging that's sort of gone on. So what do we need to do with these little guys? Are we doing uh, the meridians? Are we doing chakras? We're doing chakras. Okay. We're doing acupuncture points for the immune system. So mainly chakras. Okay. So which ones? So throat, base, throat and base. And where do we need to do it? Transcend, dissolve, comparing myself with others. Okay. So we just have to imagine this energetically. So not so much for little Charlotte's four-year-old body, but also energetically what this means in her little world. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively transcend my comparing myself with others into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively cooperate with others and acknowledge true humility as the willingness to see only the highest and best in others. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively dissolve my comparing myself with others into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively cooperate with others and acknowledge true humility as the willingness to see only the highest and best in others. Is there anything more we need to do there? Would it be useful to take the drops? Okay. Okay, so using my vessel as a surrogate for little Charlotte, how many drops do we need? Five drops. Shaking to activate. Is there more to do with the survival pattern? Okay. <laughs> okay, there's another reticular activating circuit. Okay, so this is acetylcholine. So it's like that triple shot of coffee where the nervous system just honed and focused for what's going wrong. And once again, that's creating vigilance in the nervous system. Okay, little acetylcholine, life is okay. It's fun to be a human. It's time to play. Okay, 
So let's just double check. So adrenal survival, deep survival, hidden deep survival in relation to, let's go conscious brain. So CC, trust, AC, despondency. Okay, so sometimes it can just shut down that frontal cortex, make it just harder to problem solve and think and stay focused. Sadness, despondency, depression. Sadness, despondency, depression. Escape, submission, freeze. Because when our nervous system's constantly on the lookout for the next thing to go wrong, it shuts down our feel-good hormones to a certain extent because it doesn't want us to play and relax because that's when the tiger can pounce. Once again, is there any more conscious? Um, so we're going to go in into the little uh, sensory perception areas of the brain. So brokers to brokers. So that's the words coming out of the mouth. which is uh, what you know, the throat chakra showed up before, it was throat and base. So it's about supporting her to speak her truth. Okay, so now we're going to go into Wernicke's, which is the thoughts behind the words. wanting to run away rather than thinking the thoughts behind the words. Okay, so now we're going to go into the auditory integration points. Pain and punishment again. So this is the words that you're hearing as well as the way you're integrating the information about what you've heard and what you're saying to yourself inside your brain. And the next one is the auditory integration, no, rip and lip. So left and right integration points. So this is everything coming in from long-term and short-term auditory and visual, going into the thalamus in the brain, and then the thalamus deciding where all of that long-term and short-term auditory and visual memories go. So when we're in stress and trauma, Sometimes we don't store them in the correct part of the brain. So then even from a little four-year-old's perspective, you get asked to do something. If you don't store that memory of what I've been asked to do in the correct part of the brain because the brain isn't working optimally because of stress or inflammation or, or histamine or whatever, then it can mean we're on a constant pain punishment circuit where we're not able to focus on our own health and recovery, we're sort of focused on not getting in trouble next. So this is all eight Broca's Wernicke's auditory integration points and rip and lips. So both sides of the brain, four spots each side. Okay. Fear, threat, danger. So fear, threat, danger, uh, that can be fear of life staying 
staying like this or fear of being in trouble or fear of looking silly or fear of looking funny, you know, it's sort of all of these weird little fears that we have as little four-year-old human beings. Not particularly helped in the last couple of years. Beautiful. Okay. So now let's go and have a look. Okay. Okay. I'm going to need to charge the phone for a few minutes before doing the next bits. I'll be back shortly.